Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Drill Down. Let's get back to it. We're trying to make our way through the tech tree. And we are waiting on, let's see, we're waiting on steel ingots. We need 95. We've got, drum roll please, we've got 39. And <laughs> what's holding us up looks to be coal to me. I think it's coal. So what can we do about that? Should we add another coal mine here? They're pretty darn slow. The other option is more charcoal. I think these kick out more, right? These kick out 24 every, what is that, four minutes. These kick out, uh, what is that? Five and a minute, right? Ten a minute? Yeah, ten a minute. Oh, no. Ore is way slower. Two a minute. So the coal mines get two a minute. This guy kicks out... Um... What is that? That's... Four minutes. Six a minute. These are six a minute. I guess, man, this thing is really burning through it. I guess let's do another one. We've got a dirt supply up here if we want, or we can grab a pure dirt supply here. Let's do that one. We're going to try and get more charcoal going just so we can, you know, power our smelters way down there. In fact, I can use the same belt over here and then we can turn Oops, to get off the build menu. Let's turn this belt down. And how do we do? How do we do? How do we do? Let's put in charcoal mound and figure out where we're going to place this guy. It doesn't have to be right there. We want the charcoal out. We need the logs. We need the logs down here. We could belt the logs around the top, or we could just put another forester over here. That's probably the easiest, right? That is by far the easiest. We're going to bury some ore here. What is this? I hope it's not tin. Yeah, it's iron. Curious about how to make tin. Yeah, let's plan on just using another woodcutter. Lumberjack guy. So we want the coal kind of going out that way. This will actually do it. This will do it. Let's do that. Um. Hear that. Dirt needs to go in here, I think, right? Yeah, and the wood needs to come out underneath. Let's do the dirt first. You, to you, to you, to you. And I'm just wondering, should we belt this around? Like that? Or should we just put another one down here? We've obviously got more wood than we need. I'm going to belt it around. It seems a little silly, but I think it's actually a little more space conscious. We can always change anything that we're doing here. Relatively easy. So you to you, you down, you down to you. Like that. And then onto the build menu, rotate this guy back to supplying the other one. That guy's going to kick out pure dirt. No other material. We got surplus over here. Okay, and then we need to route the output. Do that. You just straight up into that. That's fine. And now we're doubling the coal coming into this smelter. Or blast furnace, I should say. That should help. 
And with that, we probably don't need to send any more coal down. We can have it all go into the iron ingot production. Boy, stone bricks don't seem like they're producing very fast. Not working through this backlog. Oh yeah, this was full. This warehouse is full now. It's empty. Let's kill it. I'm not sure what that does. Put refund resources in this storage. Pump out. Oh, I see. Oh, interesting. That's fine. We just want to get rid of it. Boom. Uh, are you sure you want to destroy this building? All items in storage will be lost forever. Sure, there's nothing in there. Appreciate the concern, but there is nothing in there. All right, our second charcoal burner is up and running. And we've routed all the coal from these one, two, three, four, five mines all over to ingot production. Iron ore production is okay. It's not great. We'll see if this guy has a steady supply of coal. We'll see if these two iron mines can keep up. If not, we'll put another one here. Or we saw that we had an abundance of iron, I think up here. What's going on here? We got a problem. Is this more stone? Cancel. It is. There's more stone. Should we route that down into this big old mess? This here? Um, it's coming out. Oh, it's coming out in a really bad spot. The other thing we could do is just replace this with a bunch of barrels of stone. Why, why don't we try that? I <laughs> know it's not great. Let's cram in a bunch of barrels. How could we do this most efficiently? I guess maybe down here. Even here. Yeah, I can't I can't cram them in as much as I'd like. Maybe just start there. Let's uh let's alleviate this problem. I think we could delete all this stone. I don't think it's uh, necessary to do it the way we're doing it, storing it, but Let's try to preserve it for now. We may change strategies later. But each one of these little guys holds 350. I'd love to stack them in next to each other. They're cheap too. Wood planks are cheap and scaffolding's not bad either. Yeah, I wish I could daisy chain them. I guess I could if I got creative about routing this a little different. Let me move some things around. I want to see what's going on here. This is meant to be sending stuff down this way. Yeah, we've got so much stone. We can build belts till the cows come home. These conveyors just take stone. Super duper cheap. We can do this and then you to you. Yep. The reason I'm doing that is I want to see if I can get some creative storage over here with barrels. So up and down. Just like that. And then back up like that. Pause the game just so stuff doesn't get routed the wrong place here while I rotate this belt. It's meant to go like that. Okay, unpause it or unpause it. And then we can just turn on the filtering and turn on the filtering. And that's like a thousand more storage. So 
Provided the ingots are, aren't backed up. Which it looks like they are. Right? This is our supply of iron ingots. We could do something similar along here and just start cashing these up. Or we could kind of end a life this full storage. And route these guys up into a little barrel array here. Yeah, we're mostly just... I'm mostly killing time. We've got 72. We're waiting on 95 steel ingots. These are the iron ones. I'm just trying to clear this backlog. So if we did a barrel storage... Gotta go. This one's a little bit more tricky. That. That. That, right? Pause. I don't want that. Rotate this. Better. Doop, doop, doop. Right? Each one's 350, so 1,050, right? Something like that. Not bad. And then we just have to set these filters on. Let's see if that takes while it's paused. And that just keeps our production going over here. And then we've got this extra supply of iron ingots that we can do whatever we want with. If we have a ton of extra, we could send them down here. But this guy's doing fine. What are we doing now? Do we have what we need? 77. Still surprised that I don't see charcoal backing up. We have two charcoals dedicated to this one machine. Kind of surprised. But I guess it kind of processes fast. It burns through almost 36 a minute. Something like that. 36 charcoal a minute. And we're producing not that much. We're producing like eight. eight. No, we're producing, what was it, six? 12 a minute? Something like that. I don't see any backups here. We're waiting for this our single stone mason to catch up. This is about full. We'll probably do the same thing with the barrels. Maybe down here. For stone. Stone bricks, I should say. Pipes, how are we doing on those? 87, nice. Here comes a bunch of charcoal, a double load it looks like. So that should definitely get us where we need to be if we're not there already. Uh, 82 steel ingots. And we've got the belt ready to deliver these all the way into our science lab here. We need 95. Here comes that charcoal. We've got plenty of iron ingots waiting to be smelted into steel. Like I said, this guy looks like he's not keeping up. Our backlog of iron ore is getting smaller and smaller. Use some stuff we can tear out here. Starting to process all of that stone into stone bricks. Here comes the fuel. We need 95 and hopefully we'll unlock something. That's the goal. 
unlock some new technology. Hopefully, like, tin is what I'm looking for. Tin or bronze. Plus, we'll get the benefit of this careful construction where if we demolish things, we get some of the resource back. I don't know if we get everything back, but we get something. We need 95. We've got 86. Man, there's no bad... Look at that. There's no backlog of charcoal. This guy is chewing on through it. He's got 24 in inventory. What, less than three cycles? So we'll see what that means. What is he waiting on now? Is he waiting on something? Nope, he's going. 88. 89. We need six more. Okay, while we're waiting, why don't we do something with the stone situation over here? The stone bricks. Let's switch over to these barrels. How about we do it like this? We get two. Well, they they won't let me do that, will they? Kind of do our little technique here of rotated barrels. So down into here, up through here, and back over this way. And then we're going to bring this belt. Whoops. Let's bring this belt down and empty the storage. Into here. I think this turns out to be a little more compact, right? So we can filter all the stone out of here. This belt, we can rotate and send it over this way, and that will stay. We're done with this one. We're going to get rid of this warehouse. Let's finish these conveyors to connect these guys up. That looks good. And that one's going to be a little bit of trouble, but we'll take care of it. Out of that. This, rotate. And then we got to turn the filters on. Boom, just one click does it. So that's better storage, right? For our bricks, stone bricks. That's a thousand versus the 200 we get out of our normal warehouses. That's a better deal. These can go for now. And we've got one storage here that just got a got kind of junk in it, right? We're not really using this for anything. We've got stone bricks and iron ingots. It's just kind of extra stuff. How are we doing? Do we have our 95? We have 96 steel ingots. Let's set these guys loose. So we'll go down to two. He should make their way all the way to the science lab. We'll go down to two. Now we'll go down to three. Go down to four now. <laughs> go down to four. All right, that should be it. That should be it. You can start collecting those back up. These have a little bit of a trip to go. Oh, what's going on? Why can't you get through? Okay, let's reverse this or turn it. There we go. That's fine. Crisis averted all the way up through here, up and into the science lab. Nice, 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 nice. Let's take a look at what the next research is going to be. Going to be this guy. We got to wait for 50 steel ingots. 
We've already got the copper tubes, so we're in good shape there. This all seems to be moving along pretty good. The coal and the stone. Got plenty of storage left in our mega mega warehouse. We're burning through the leftovers here, so let's clear this out for looks. Plenty of storage for stone bricks. We could do a barrel thing here now. Right? We could save a lot of space by putting this stuff into barrels. What about starting that out over here? Something like this, maybe? Boom. Just like that. And then maybe reverse these belts and start clearing out this stuff, actually. What if we do something like that? Right? How's that? Then we can work to get rid of these warehouses because all we're storing is a single item. So it makes sense to clear these out. We'll put some kind of barrel array over here. Let this thing drain out and fill up that thing. Okay, let's see what we got. Hopefully, with research completed, keep your fingers crossed that we have some new things to research. I don't see anything. Oh, man. All right, I guess we're going to do water usage, then electricity. It could be electricity that we need, but man, how do I do bronze plates? Water is the only thing we really can research. We can make wire. We can make carbon blocks. We can prepare. We can make these three things. I don't think we can make bronze. We've got copper tubes already being made. we got steel ingots being made. All right, let's see what we actually got in terms of things we can build. Is there new? Where's my new? nothing really right that research that we just completed allowed us to recoup some of the materials when we de destroy an item so there's nothing new we can build from that little bit uh anticlimactic but uh it is what it is let's look at the other stuff we need to build Like I said, we're good on this. We just got to wait for ingots. We'll send copper tubes down. Probably send them down to the same lab. We can run a belt down and just connect it up to uh, really anywhere here even. Right? We'll find its way down into the research lab. That would do it. Let's see what's next um, for this stuff. We've got copper wire. We may need to ramp up copper production too. It's pretty, I mean, look at this. It's pretty anemic, like ridiculously slow. We've got some copper here. Um, we could use one, we could keep this for tubes and then set up another copper production down here for the wire, I guess. Copper wire. Let's see what that's gonna take. Wire drawer uses ingots. So we could smelt copper from here. Oh man. It looks like we've got tons of dirt, right? Maybe we can do something about that. To have one one dirt mine feed at least two of these charcoal burners. Because we need more charcoal. We need more fuel. 
This coal's starting to back up, which is kind of good. Let's see if it'll send the excess over that way. Do that for a bit, anyway. Hmm. So yeah, I think we need another charcoal burner. I'm just thinking of how we can split this clay across two, two burners. What we could do is this one here that I'm looking at. We've got dirt up here too that's just not being used, right? Yeah. I'm thinking we could take the dirt from this one and put a filter here and maybe feed both of these with one mine and then redirect this up, grab another lumberjack and another coal burner and then feed that output back down on this same, this same belt or tunnel under and have it feed our copper smelting operation. The other option is to somehow use this one to feed both of these guys, but the way this one's placed, its output is kind of in a bad spot. Really would like that splitter, but I don't, we just can't use it yet. I'm missing something. Ah, mixer, what does this do? Cement. Concrete powder. Oh, bronze dust. <laughs> we can make bronze. We can make bronze, I bet. Bet that's it, right? We run that bronze dust through a smelter and we got bronze. Copper dust and tin. Oh, we don't have tin. How do we get tin? There, I'm going to have to Google this one. They need to Google how to make tin. I have a feeling it's something obvious that we're just, that I'm just missing. We're going to eventually need steel plates. We can think about routing some ingots over for that too. Maybe do some steel plate production somewhere along here and throw some in barrels. They'll need ingots though, desperately. Okay, we stumbled upon how to do the bronze. Concrete powder, I don't know. Bronze dust. We need tin dust. Gotta think tin is an ore that is one level below us. I think we're gonna eventually unlock something in the tech tree that's gonna allow us to go a level deeper. And we probably, I don't, I just don't know. Water's the last thing we can really make. We can't make bronze without tin don't see unless there's just something with my color blindness i'm missing a certain kind of ore deposit here tin i have a feeling that is intentional and it's down below or something right there's no tin on this map that i can see Oh, iron. I mean, I can't detect, my eyes can't detect certain colors. So some things will look the same to me that look different to you guys, probably. But usually not so bad with grays and stuff like this. Usually I can tell these apart. If they're gray. <laughs> they look gray to me. All right, let's see. What should we do first? We know we're going to need coal. I think we should work on copper wire. And I think we should do it off of this deposit of copper. And maximize basically all of these. Route the extra stone where we can get rid of it. Speaking of which, we can clear this stuff out. Free up some space. Let's see what we're doing a little better. We need more fuel. 
Okay, looks like we're fully stocked up on planks and we're starting to restock up on logs. We could do a barrel array of logs here. Might make sense. Um, Delta, I really want this distributor. Yeah, between episodes, I'm going to look up how to get tin. See if I can figure that out. Filter. Just thinking of how we can uh, feed this and this. These two charcoal things from this dirt mine is what I'm kind of contemplating right now. We'd have to rip out this belt and put our filter here. And then that belt would have to kind of wiggle around here and connect up with that. It's going to be a little dubious. But it almost has to be right there. Let's try it. We get a little bit of time. Let's try it. I'm going to kill off this. We know this isn't the right object for us. I'm going to pause just while we place these conveyors because they're going to probably not cooperate. Get these rotated the way we want. This one needs to go straight down. This one needs to go straight down. That looks right. So basically I want dirt going down and over. I don't know if it's going to let me. Dirt. Dirt. Turn this up for the time being. Let's hit play and see what we get. I'm curious if this backs up, if it's going to start feeding this one. That's what I want to know. We might get a chance to find out. We might have to wait. We have to wait a little bit. If this guy can keep these both filled up, then it's not such a big deal that this filter is really not the right logistics tool to use. As long as dirt gets to both of these, we'll be in good shape. Wish there was a fast forward. There is, I think, like, uh, you know, if you're familiar with Bactorio and the notion of beacons, how they amplify production, I think there is a notion of a beacon in this game that will unlock later on that, that increases the production or the speed of machines within its range. I think that exists. I did take a little look at the wiki earlier. I'm definitely going to look after this episode to see what it takes to get tin, because that's what we need. How we doing on steel ingots? 48. What do we need? 50? Let's go ahead and plan on doing that here. We need 50. We need 30 pipe. We need to get the pipe routed down. We'll do it. Oh, this guy does not want to overflow for us. Will not send it down unless I take it off of this. Oh, that's upsetting. Not happy about that. This guy is running. All right, let's wrap this episode here. Next episode, we got a few things we can do. We are going to try and research the water usage. So we'll send the copper tubes down. We've got them. We've got the iron ingots, for the steel ingots we need. So we'll route those over too. We've already got that route. We just need to release them. Boom, 50. They'll head right in. We just need to route these copper pipes down. We'll do that. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that research will open up something new for us that allows us to access tin. In between episodes here, I'm going to go check out the wiki 
and see if I can't figure out how we can get tin. Uh, we saw that we can make bronze. Uh, where was that? Not here. Ooh, is there anything in here that we missed? There's the carbon blocks. We need to make that. I think we've got everything we need to do this. Or all the tech we need to make those. But this mixer is the one. A okay, sand and clay. Cement and stone dust. We saw we can make this bronze dust, which I think, and I think our one of the furnace or the blast furnace or the smelter here, or whatever, can turn dust into um, molten metal. But this has as input tin, and we just don't know how to make tin dust yet. Um, would the crusher tell us? Let's see. Maybe it's something in here. It just says gravel, gravel to dust. Sand to stone dust. Coal to coal dust. Nothing about tin dust at all, really. So I'm guessing we have to unlock that. Crusher. We can take a quick look at the recipes here. Just basic ore gravel. Or stone gravel. So yeah. We will pick it up next episode. We're doing alright. We've got a <laughs> we've got a decent sized factory here. We're starting to move over towards using these barrels. They take up a ton less space. This little array of barrel stores 1,050. This warehouse stores 200. But we may start converting over to using more barrels. In fact, this warehouse we just emptied out. We can get rid of it now. Boom. Along with that too. So that's something we can do as well. Up here with the stones, we were working on that. So we'll do some of that. We'll get the research going and we'll keep our fingers crossed that we can get bronze and keep our fingers crossed that we can get to deeper levels. All right, for now, this is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Special thanks to patrons and channel members. Definitely appreciate your support. Also, thanks to those of you who have been giving the videos a thumbs up. It's a tiny thing, but it does help my channel grow. I really appreciate the few of you that have been doing that and sticking with me on this series, Drill Down. It's an awesome game. Uh, the developer provided me a key, uh, provided me with a key for this so I could put this series together for you. So my thanks goes out to the developer. That was several months ago and I'm finally getting around to it. For now, that's it. I will see you in the next episode.